My name is Lynn Gilbert, class of 59. I'd like to share with you how I came to photograph 47 of the most iconic women of the 20th century 45 years ago. I was a children's photographer working on a series of New York City kids from different socioeconomic backgrounds. One portrait shown here on the right was the son of the owner of the Pace Gallery and led to a commission to photograph Louise Nevelson, one of the foremost sculptors of the day. The photograph became her official portrait and it opened doors for me. I wanted recognition for my children's portraits and thought taking portraits of well-known women would enable me to achieve that goal. I conceived of a book of photographs of women in the forefront of the women's movement in 1971, the Ladies Home Journal published the first comprehensive list of important women at that time. Upon reading it, I realized that many of the women were chosen because of their relationships to prominent men. By contrast, I wanted my list to include only women who had significantly changed society and paved the way for other women. The selection would be balanced between major disciplines such as the arts, sciences, sports, and law. I consulted three experts in each field to confirm that the appropriate women were included. This process took three years. When I photographed each woman, I found their personal stories more compelling than anything I read during my research. These stories are recounted by the women in their own words and particular passions Published in 1981, the book tracked the evolution of the second women's movement as, as it happened. Here are the two images that I chose for the virtual show, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Barbara Walters. In my portraits, my goal is to capture character. In Ruth Bader Ginsburg's portrait, she presents herself as she presents to court. Detail, thorough, and straightforward. Outwardly, she is inquisitive. Inwardly, she is absorbed. Her hands are poised. With her left thumb, she firmly holds a book. With her right hand, she waits expectantly to flip two pages. She was gracious with me, but her commitment to her work is apparent. Barbara Walters was the first to break through the glass ceiling of media. In the photo, she appears vulnerable while she defines her space with crossed arms. Women like Julia Child and Billie Jean King were already public figures when I photographed them. Julia Child, whose love of French cuisine brought French culinary arts to America. Billie Jean King created opportunities for women on the tennis court, in all sports, and in the workplace for women around the world. Many of the other women were only known within their own fields. Grace Murray Hopper, a mathematician, was a pioneer in computer technology. She transformed mathematical symbols into words, creating the basics of computer languages. Shen Xing Wu, an experimental physicist, performed groundbreaking work that is the basis for modern nuclear and particle physics. Forty years later, the project continues to evolve. The book is now available on Kindle as Women of Wisdom, and a number of the chapters are available individually. The photos continue to be exhibited. A portfolio of 12 portraits and single prints are available in limited editions. When I started the project, I had no idea that the portraits and the women's stories would continue to be so relevant today. I'd like to add one note for those who are graduating today. When you get an idea, run with it. If you are open to risk and move forward, it will begin to shape your life. You have to believe that your idea can be realized. When I started this project, I did not know that it would endure over 40 years or that my book would be in 600 libraries worldwide, including Harvard, Princeton, and Yale and my photographs would be in the National Portrait Gallery or exhibited in a number of museums internationally and used worldwide in books, newspapers, and magazines. This idea has shaped my life. 
Shaping an idea and becoming who you are go hand in hand. Follow that path and you will have a life that is fully lived. I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak to you and I wish you all the best in years to come.